Hey guys, it's the Doc, and here's our next installment of the hashtag Ask Dr. Mungil series of posts. This one comes in from Instagram. It comes in from at Alicia Aboud, and the question is, how can you reduce face acne without having to deal with pills? Well, that's a good question. Um, so it's a hard question to actually answer without actually seeing you. Um, so what I will say is if you have very, very, well, let me backtrack. The first step is, is you really need to get in to see a board certified dermatologist, someone who can take a look at your skin, assess it, see what type of acne you have, whether it's superficial acne or may have more of a cystic component, and uh, they can walk you through what the appropriate steps may be um, to get your skin looking better. Obviously, if you're in the New York City area, come see the doc. If you're not, I would find a local board certified dermatologist who I'm sure could help you. Now, getting back to your question. So it really depends what type of acne you have. If your acne is very superficial, whiteheads, blackheads, small red pimples, then typically a cream-based regimen should do the trick. And there's like literally a million different permutations of that, lots of options when it comes to that category uh, of treatment. Um, again, your, your board certified dermatologist will have to assess your skin, kind of figure out what the best options are for you. Um, generally, it involves using a gentle cleanser twice a day, and then using either one or two different creams to treat your skin. Now, if your acne is more cystic in nature, it's more hormonal, you're getting like deeper, more painful pimples, then the truth is it's really hard to treat your acne without pills. Um, typically we need, those are like inside out pimples, the deeper pimples. There's some deeper inflammation in your skin, which is best addressed from the inside out, if that makes sense. And the way we do that is with pills, there's various options for that. There are antibiotics. There's some pills that will, um, you know, just, work against your hormones, which may be causing acne. There are other medications as well that can be employed. Um, there are also now some non-invasive like laser treatments that can be used to treat acne as well. Um, those are honestly, in my personal opinion, kind of kind of hit or miss. The more tried and true strategies I find are the best. But again, your dermatologist, your board certified dermatologist, should be able to walk you through all of these options. If you are averse to taking pills and you have cystic acne, there are a couple of other options that are out there. Uh, but again, you gotta get in to see your board certified dermatologist to walk you through all of these options. So hope that answers your question. Let's get it.
Hey guys, it's the doc, and here's our next installment of the hashtag Ask Dr. Mudgill series of posts. These, uh, this question comes in from Instagram, comes in from uh, Galia underscore care, and the question is, what's your advice for large pores? Well, that's a good question. It's a question I get asked nearly every day. Um, so the first step is, so large pores are common. They're very common, generally in like the T-zone, you know, which is like the lower part of the forehead, the uh, bridge of the nose and working its way down. Some folks have on their cheeks, you get some large pores. As time goes on, as we accumulate more, more wisdom, sometimes our pores can also enlarge. Um, and basically what's happening is like sebum, the stuff that, you know, is in the oil in our skin, accumulates in pores that we all have and makes them appear more prominent. So there are a couple of solutions. The first one is really just a good skincare regimen, washing your face twice a day with a gentle cleanser and incorporating the use of a retinoid. Um, so most of my patients that have large pores are on Retin-A, Tretinoin, which is a generic name for Retin-A. Uh, we teach them how to use that. Some folks can use it nightly, some folks can only use it a few times a week, but what that does is it reduces the creation of your sebum and also helps to sort of dislodge some of the contents in your pores. And um, then in combination with that, using a good sunscreen every morning, ideally something that's an SPF 30 with titanium or zinc, which are physical, physical barriers of the sun's rays. So that's kind of step one. So for you, I would recommend getting it to see your local board certified dermatologist. If it's in the New York City area, you can obviously come see the doc. But if you're not, I'm sure you can find someone great nearby you and they can kind of walk you through the regimen I just described. There are things beyond what I just discussed, I'm thinking of more invasive procedures. I'm nothing crazy, but sometimes we use some lasers or some resurfacing. Um, sometimes we use that in combination with something called platelet-rich plasma. Um, there are lots of options, um, but the first step is, you know, just starting at the baseline, establishing a good skincare routine, generally with the incorporation of a retinoid and see how far that gets you. If that doesn't get you to the finish line, then we could talk about some of the other strategies that may be employed to help reduce pore size. So, hope that answers your question. Let's get it.